Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome back for my subscribers. I want to apologize. I am very very sorry that it's been a while that I didn't upload any videos. Um, paano ko ba explain It's so hard. Life happens, you know. And I got to the point that I asked myself why I do what I do. And at the end of the day, I still crave for it. I still look for it. I still want it. I decided that I'll give this a shot and I really like it. This YouTubing thing is, I know for sure, is not certain in this kind of a hobby. But hey, I learned so much since I started and I love what I'm doing. I love what I'm sharing. So on that note, um, what I'm gonna share with you guys today is it's about a collective whole of uh, drugstore makeup that I've been uh, um, collecting lately and I want to share this with you guys some of this stuff are already used and some of it are still in the box so without further ado let's start this so I'm gonna start with the brushes um, lately uh, ang brushes talaga is very very important to me because I'm just starting and I want to know and want to learn what is the right brush that I will be needing in certain um, techniques like this one here is for sculpting and this brush is from uh, Real Techniques by Nick and Sam and it's very very nice and I've heard so much good uh, what you call that so much good reviews about these brushes and it's not that expensive because you know quality brushes these days is so expensive but this one is quite affordable because it's, it is drugstore uh, product and you can buy this at Walmart or any supermarket that you have there in your area. This brands, I don't know if available in the Philippines, I'm not so sure but I am so sure that there is so many online sellers nowadays. This uh, thing, they have it has a um, holder. Oh wow! And the bristle is so nice! Sobrang lambot! Ang gusto ko! Because um, merong a synthetic um, brushes na hindi talaga siya ganun ka kalambot. And especially if you have a very sensitive skin, it's so harsh on your face. So this is a good quality brush. Very good quality. Sobrang lambot niya. And um, I think for myself, uh, it's for my own opinion. If you're gonna buy brushes, to invest in quality brushes is very, very important. Over the time, if that brush doesn't have that quality, you will end up buying again. So, I think, yung moderation lang. Yung may quality and not that expensive. So, this kind of thing, and look at the color. It's so girly and, and the quality, it's amazing. I love the style of these brushes. It's It looks durable. And I got this from their uh, um, collections too. So let's move on. I have here, it's this, this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. There. I already opened it. Um, I just bought this yesterday because I saw at the store it's, it's sale for like I think $2 off. I've heard so much um, reviews about this palette and I really really want to try it. And holy smokes, it's, it's really nice. Look at this. I'm gonna do the swatching so you guys can see. There you go. To be honest with you, I don't have that much of a palette yet in my collection because I'm starting. So I will definitely um, guarantee to you guys to look forward on my future videos for for collective or or a reviews of a palette because that's that's my next. And um, I'm honestly thinking of getting some quality of palettes as well. And this one is not bad. It's really, it's very versatile. The colors are very versatile. It's all matte. And I got this for like, I think, $8. I heard that they don't have um, e.l.f. cosmetics brand in Philippines yet. But hopefully, hopefully, let's fingers crossed um, na magkaroon doon. Because this brand here is one of the best drugstore brand. Na sobrang affordable and okay naman yung quality. Kaya for those who, who are in budget like me and mom like me, this is one brand that you can rely on. So let's start, let's start um, swatching it. Pigmented siya, you know, for a matte uh, eyeshadow. 
especially if you're gonna use a primer, this is very, very good. Very pigmented siya. As for Mata, it's very, very good. I will highly recommend this and I'm very, very excited to use this. With the same brand, I got Hydrating Face Primer. I tried it just today with my makeup and it's very, very nice. It's not that silicone-y unlike other other primer. Ito yung napansin silicone um, primer. I think it's, um, what you call that? It aggravates my dryness, my skin's dryness. Kaya parang ngayon, I'm more aware na of uh, um, buying stuff with silicone kasi parang feeling ko mas nakaka-dry siya ng skin. I don't know if you guys experience that, but for me, I experience that often. Kaya sabi ko sa ko, I think I will try some other stuff or moisturizer instead of uh, primer. Yung silicone parang feeling ko mas na-aggravate niya yung, yung dryness ng mukha ko. Kaya parang, oh my gosh, yun ang hindi ko gusto. Kasi nga, uh, I have a very dry skin. Yun ang problema ko talaga. It is, it's one of my biggest problem is my dryness. So, but this one is really good. I like it. It's not that drying. It says hydrating. That's why I bought this and the smell is really good. And for the price, I paid for $6. Not bad. And the packaging is, is also a very uh, um, hygienic. It has pump and stuff. So, yeah. Like this. Recommend this of hydrating face primer. I have this Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. This is one amazing brand. I love this eyeshadow base. It's really, really uh, worked well with my uh, matte eyeshadows. It um, it's blends well. I think it has only one shade, so you can't find any other shades aside from this. I'm so happy na lately, parang like bumped up na yung yung uh, essence here in Canada. More selections and uh, to their uh, um, retailers because. Uh, before some of their products are so limited, kaya di mo mabili yung mga yung gusto mo talaga in sa online mula nakikita. Which is means that you have to pay an extra for shipping fee which is no good. Kaya I'm so happy that I finally got this at the store. I just saw that they had this, that's why I got it right away. So I used it and it's really really nice. It makes your eyeshadow to have a long lasting um, effect and it's like Two dollars something. Very good deal. Yes. And here I got this um, Revlon Kodo Ready 3D Volume. There you go. I have mixed emotion with this mascara. I don't know, guys. I like the bristles, but uh, hindi siya ganon na volume talaga. Like what it's claim, what like what it's claiming na nahaka na. It will give you 3D volume. I don't think so because um, I have this, you know, I have a very short, straight eyelashes, and guess what? It doesn't really uh, give me that volume that I'm really looking forward to. If you're gonna ask me if I'm gonna buy this again, probably not. So yeah, I don't, I don't really, uh, don't really like it. Let's move on with the uh, eyeliner. I bought two. I have two. This that I got is this uh, super skinny. Uh, Marker by NYX. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one because akala ko parang kala ko talaga it's very uh, pigmented. But hey, look guys, hindi siya ganon ka pigmented talaga. Tanga, it says NYX, right? And kapag kapag uh, minark mo siya, parang magiiwan pa siya ng konting um, space in between lines. I don't know if you guys know what I meant. Sa gitna, it's like 2 out of 5 for me with this one. If I'm gonna buy this again, probably not. The next one here that I got is this um, super fine eyeliner pen by Essence. This one here. This is not water. I heard so many good things about this um, super fine eyeliner. This is actually very inexpensive. I honestly super love this. Look at this. Look at the tip. Oh my gosh. It can kill you. It's this really nice compared to other one. Look at that. You can compare the NYX and this Essence. Huh? Each difference. I'm so in love with this. It is very easy to use. There's also waterproof options for this one. It's I think it's the 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 label is like a blue thing. This one is not. This is not um waterproof. 
I'm into false lashes now. I have this very short straight eyelashes, unfortunately, but you know, thank God this there, we have this up to uh, lengthen our eyelashes through this false lashes. And this one I got here is uh, is a Kiss brand, and I honestly, honestly love this brand. You know what? Um, before I ordered some eyelashes from online and it ended up for me not liking it much because especially when you're starting you will really need a false lashes that will gonna be easy to use not those straight stuff if you're an expert then yeah you can experiment with those things but if you're like me and as a beginner you will want to get something not that expensive but has a good quality and very easy and versatile to use Ito talaga napaka very easy to apply. I have control over this and it is more like natural looking in my eyes. Kaya I honestly love this. I got this for $13. So that's bad because you got five pairs and if you're good in doing hygiene to your on your um, eyelashes, it will last a long time cuz Last but not the least on my um, collective haul today is this um, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. This is super, super pigmented, super, super pigmented, and how can I s explain this? This is one of the best red lipstick I've encountered ever since, and the quality of this matte liquid lipstick is crazy like crazy crazy once this thing dries on your lips it's so hard to remove look at this it's like a perfect red there there you go guys it complements my um, yellow undertone I think this red is is more of like versatile than other red texture because I don't know it's it's tried some other red red lipstick it doesn't really uh, match my skin tone it looks it makes me look old or not fresh or basta it doesn't it doesn't really look good to me you can compare the the color red to a mac ruby if you guys are familiar with that lipstick so yeah Ma um this mega last liquid cat suit um matte lipstick from one of the best makeup um, matte lipstick out there but very very hard to uh, remove so make sure when you remove this you're in the washroom you have that very good wet napkin or oil because it takes a lot of effort or it takes a while to remove it because it's really really is um, sticking on your lips Especially kapag natuyo na talaga siya, it's very mad. Sobrang, sobrang mad talaga niya. Hindi agad siya matatanggal or whatsoever. It is really takes a while to remove the uh, lipstick. So, guys, that's all I got for my collective drugstore makeup haul. And um, if you guys have any um, suggestions, recommendations for me to features in my channel, just please, please just comment down below and I'm very, very happy to do it if I can. And yeah, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, see you again next time. Bye! Mwah.